So it looks like Cody Garbrandt's wish is set to come true at UFC 300 as the former Bantamweight champion is scheduled to face the former flyweight title holder Davison Figueredo on April 13th. Cody Garbrandt, after knocking out Brian Kelleher at UFC 96, really wanted a showdown with Davison Figueredo. They were supposed to face off back in August of 2020, but Garbrandt had to bow out due to an illness. Now, Figueredo boasting a 22-3-1 record is up for a bout at 135 pounds. After a successful move to the division, he sealed the deal with a decision win over Raw Font in December. The former two-time flyweight champ Figueredo had a killer start in the octagon, winning 9 of his first 10 fights. But then he got into the intense 4 fight series with Brandon Moreno from 2020 to 2023, scoring a 1-2-1 record against the Mexican rival. Like I've been saying all year, ladies and gentlemen, the Bantamweight division is going to be the most entertaining division all year. There is a deep roster of fighters that a lot of people would label real contenders for that Bantamweight title. And honestly, there is a lot of good matchups. Cody Garbrandt, the former champion, uh, is going to take on Davison Figueredo. And I think that's going to be a great opportunity for both fighters because if Cody, if Cody Garbrandt wins, honestly, that puts him back into title in the title race conversation. And if, and if Davison Figueredo beats the former champion, uh, Cody Garbrandt, then obviously that's going to put him in a a position to where he could potentially fight for a title eliminator and that would be a great fight man who doesn't want to see davison figueredo potentially fight sean o'malley in the future i think that would be a great fight ufc 300 is going to be a huge event i think they're going to do as much as possible to push these fights so expect to see davison figueredo to talk so much trash to cody garbrandt leading up to this fight we've seen cody garbrandt fall into the trash talk and we've seen him fight emotional fights and whenever he does the fight just doesn't go his way and obviously davison figueredo is a championship level fighter we've seen him in championship level fights and cody garbrandt you know it's been a while since he's competed at that level the last guy he beat you know he, we can't really say that he is uh the you know cream of the crop but davison figueredo is definitely a real contender in this division this is going to be a great fight um, so I wonder if Cody Garbrandt is going to do the right thing and come into this fight with a level headed mind uh, mindset and not let some of the trash talking that we could expect to see leading up to this fight at UFC 300. Now, this just happened, ladies and gentlemen. Manel Cape and Mathels Nicolau has been scrapped due to Manel Cape missing weight by 3.5 pounds for the non-title flyweight fight where the limit is 126 pounds ufc officials and the nevada athletic commission confirmed the cancellation it remains uncertain whether the bout will be rescheduled in the future now hopefully this isn't a you know continuing pattern with manuel cape because this isn't the first time that he's come in overweight in 2021 he missed a previous bout because he came in again three pounds overweight now, he did put out a statement. I'm going to read it to you guys very quickly. He says, guys, I couldn't make the weight this time. Two weeks ago, I was extremely sick due to a virus that happened here in Las Vegas. And I had to stay out in training for five days. And filling myself with antibiotics not only affected me, but many of my training partners. Um, so apparently that is his, you know, excuse. Um, but yeah, like I said, hopefully this isn't a repeating pattern for him. You know, now that this isn't, the first time in a couple of years that he's come in overweight. But now Jim Miller and Gabriel Benitez has been elevated to the co-main event uh, for UFC Vegas 84. The event headliner remains a light heavyweight title rematch between Johnny Walker and Magomed Ankalaev, which is a fight that I'm extremely excited to see. Obviously, the last time that they fought, it didn't didn't sit well with me because I did feel like Ankalaya was getting the best of Johnny Walker in that fight. But who knows? Hopefully Johnny Walker went back. He watched some film and he was able to kind of pick apart some of the strategies that Ankalaya was doing in that fight. But we will see. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you are a reoccurring viewer, I would really appreciate if you guys give us a like. Consider subscribing. And I will definitely see you guys in the next video. Peace out and have a good one.